Hi everyone, this is Heather with Treasured Hometown. Today for this video, I wanted to show you how to make a crochet poncho. This is a very simple, easy pattern. It works with a repeat of four different rows. So it's just, you know, row one, two, three, four, and then continue going on. And it's quite easily, you can make it as big or as small as you want. The neck hole, you can adjust that also, so you can make it all the way from child sizes, or if you're one who wants your ponchos more to sit on your shoulder, you just adjust for a different size opening. I will go ahead and link all of the materials and items that I used in order to create this pattern in the video description box below. So if you're wanting to make it exact or maybe change up the color or anything, everything will be linked into the video description. And then for those who are interested, I will have eventually a PDF version of this pattern uploaded and available for purchase through my Etsy shop. And that will also be linked in the description box below. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a little thumbs up like, or if you have any other, you know, comments, questions, have any difficulties making this, be sure to get a hold of me. Let me know in the comments and I'll do the best I can to try and help you out with whatever is going on on your pattern. And if you have yet to subscribe, go ahead and hit that little subscribe button and that bell notification right next to it. And I'll give you a heads up every time I post a new video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. All right, so to create this pattern, we'll need a couple of supplies. For this, I'm using a six millimeter crochet hook or a J hook. We'll need a pair of scissors in order to cut our yarn. We'll need a darning needle in order to weave in our ends, although it is possible to weave in the ends without it. Now, um, I am going to use a couple of different markers, which just make it uh, slightly easier to keep track of where you are, your placement throughout this pattern, especially in the front and back sides of our poncho. I am using for this the Premier Puzzle Yarn. Now the amount of yarn that you're going to need depends on how big you want to make your poncho. So a smaller one, obviously less yarn, but I would suggest two to three skeins of this. For this one, I'm using color Sudoku and this is a number five bulky weight yarn. And I selected this one just because I have another little shawl triangle scarf that I made uh, from this exact uh, and over the uh, about year and a half I've had it, I use it all the time. It is still just incredibly super soft. So I do very much love this type of yarn in order to make, you know, something fun and warm to wear. Now to begin this pattern, what we want to do is create a chain that is large enough that when all together fits around the circumference, so the width around your head. And this is going to work for, easiest way I find is because some people, their gauge could be off just a little bit or with stretch and whatnot for the material. Um, a good way is to take a measurement of someone's head and just uh, from that measurement, We'll go ahead and add an inch or two just so that we have a little bit of extra gap. And then we wanna do our chain for that length. For me, I am going to go with the chain of 64. Now remember, whenever you create your chain, you're gonna to wanna to create a chain that is an even number of chains. So I'll go ahead and I'll meet you back here once I've finished creating all of my 64 chains. All right, now that we've completed our chain of 64, we wanna go ahead and make sure our chain has no bends or twists into it. And then what we're gonna to wanna to do is slip stitch into the back bump of your first chain one of the round in order to join. Now for your back bump, normally we look at our chain and we see the two lumps here on the front. We just want to flip it over and the back bump is that little bump right there into the back of it. So we just slip stitch into there in order to join. 
and then we chain two and then into that same stitch where we slip stitched into to join we want to put a total of five double crochets into that same stitch And then we want to take our marker and into the second double crochet of that little cluster of five, we're going to go ahead and put our marker into there because that will be the center of that. So it'll end up being the beginning or the end of our round. Now continuing on, now you want to take the amount of chains that you first started off with throughout the round and you want to divide it by two. So I had 64 chains for mine. So I am taking that and that will become 32. All right. And then we just simply from 32 subtract one. All right. So I am going to double crochet once into your next, into my next 31 stitches. And yes, that first back bump after our cluster of five is a little bit difficult to try and get into. Now that we have our 31 double crochet stitches made into our next stitch, we want to repeat again and do five double crochets into that stitch. And then we'll take our marker and into the third double crochet stitch, we're going to go ahead and put our marker right into there. So it's the middle double crochet of the cluster of five. And then continuing going around working in back loops, we'll, we'll go ahead and finish putting one double crochet into each, into the next 31 stitches, or you take your total number of stitches that you chains that you did for your first round and then divide it in two and subtract one for however many you need to do. All right, and now that we're back at the beginning, I recommend give it a little look. Make sure you haven't twisted your yarn at all. What we're gonna do is into that uh, top of that first double crochet stitch of the round, we're gonna slip stitch into there in order to join. Right, and there we are, we have round one. All right, and now to begin round two, slightly different, we're gonna chain one, and then we want a half double crochet into that first stitch where we slip stitched into to join. So yarn over, 
go into the stitch, pull up a loop. Now we have three loops on our hook, yarn over, and unlike the double crochet, we simply go through all three loops. And then we want to put one half double crochet into each stitch going around until we hit the space where we have the marker, which is the third double crochet of that first five cluster double crochet. And into there, we want to put five half double crochets. And then we'll go ahead and remove our marker. And then we'll replace it into that third half double crochet stitch of that cluster. Or just count over one, two, three. We have all five into there. And then we're going to put one half double crochet into each of the next stitches until we hit the marker for the other side. And then once again, right here at the very peak point, we want to put five half double crochets into that stitch. And then we'll go ahead and remove and replace the marker into the third stitch of the cluster and then we want to continue putting one half double crochet stitch all the way down to the very last stitch into the row before our start Now that we're here back at the beginning, we're going to skip that chain one and slip stitch into the top of that first half double crochet stitch of the round. And there we are with round two. All right, and now for round three, we're going to start with a chain two. And then we're going to double crochet into that same stitch where we came out of. And then we're going to double crochet into each stitch all the way up to that marker for the very center of our point. And then we're going to put five double crochets into that very top point. Now we have our five double crochets into that marked stitch. Remove our marker and we're going to put it into the third double crochet that we made into that stitch. And then we're going to put one double crochet into each stitch all the way down the side until we get to the opposite side marker. So one of these markers represents the front and one represents the back of our poncho. All right, now that we're back here at the other end, we're going to put, once again, five double crochets into that top marked stitch. And then remove your marker and replace it into the third 
double crochet stitch of that cluster and then we want to put one double crochet into each stitch going all the way back to the beginning of the round Now that we're back at the beginning, we want to slip stitch into that top of that first double crochet stitch of the round in order to join. And there we are with round three. And now for round four, once again, start with a chain two. And then we want to double crochet into that same stitch where we slip stitched into to join. And then we'll chain one, skip one, double crochet into your next stitch, chain one, skip one, double crochet into our next stitch, chain one, skip one, now that we're here at the top, so our chain and then skip, so once again we're working these same right into, so five stitches into that very top point, so double crochet would be the first, chain one is the second, double crochet again, which is our third stitch, chain one is our fourth, double crochet again, which is our fifth stitch. And then we'll remove our marker, put it into the third double crochet stitch of that round, and then continuing on for our next, we're gonna chain one, skip one, and then double crochet into our next stitch, chain one, skip one, double crochet into your next stitch, and we're going to repeat this all the way down until we get to the other side, so the opposite front back side of our poncho. And then now that we're at the end, once again, chain one, skip one. So now here's the very point. So double crochet into there, chain one. So that is your second stitch going into this top point. And then our third is a double crochet. Fourth is a chain one. Fifth is double crochet. All right. And then we remove our marker and then put it into the third stitch of that cluster of five into the one. And then we simply want to continue. So our next stitch is a chain one, skip one, double crochet into your next stitch. And we want to repeat this all the way down until we get back to the beginning of our round. And now we've just ended. We have a chain one, skip one, and now we're at the very beginning. So we simply slip stitch into that first double crochet of the round in order to join. And there we are with round four. All right, now that we've completed round four, what we are simply going to do is this poncho is just simply worked in a repeat so we come back and do round one, which is double crochet into each, but we are putting in each round five into the marker for each round. And then we do a round of half double crochets and then a round of double crochets. And then we do the chain one in between each double crochet. So we just continually repeat those. So just to show you, chain two, double crochet into the same stitch where we came out of, double crochet into that chain one, 
and just continue double crochet into each stitch all the way until we get to our point. And then we're at the point, so we want to put five double crochets into that marked stitch. And then we'll place our marker into the third stitch, a uh, third double crochet of that cluster. And then just repeat and continue going down the side until we hit the other side of our poncho. And then we're just repeating and working in just alternating rows all the way through until you get to the poncho size in which you're desiring. And to show you right here, the reason we worked in the back bumps, it's so right along here, it's a nice, you know, edge onto it. So you see the two loops showing through. So in my opinion, it's uh, nicer and lays up against your neck a much nicer feel for it. So go ahead and do your repeats. And I hope you enjoy.